this is a case of a 58 year old woman who has a history of a hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. She had received adjuvant hormonal therapy uh, with an aromatase inhibitor and had taken that for five years. But about 13 months after discontinuing the aromatase inhibitor, she had had imaging done for other reasons, but was found to have four lung nodules as well as enlarged mediastinal and hilar lymph nodes that were suspicious for a recurrence of her original breast cancer. So she had a biopsy done um, of one of the mediastinal nodes, and it did confirm that this was consistent with her original breast primary and was a hormone receptor positive for two negative breast cancer. Because this patient recurred just over a year since completion of her adjuvant aromatase inhibitor therapy, it does make you think perhaps she was resistant to her original aromatase inhibitor. Um, someone who presents with metastatic hormone receptor positive disease is thought to have a prognosis um, with about a three and a half to four year survival. Um, certainly we continue to do better and better, um, but that's about an average. In terms of selecting therapy, you know, because again, she recurred so, so soon after her aromatase inhibitor, I usually think of starting a different hormonal therapy and will often elect to use fulvestrant in this case. You know, because of all the very encouraging data looking at combination therapy with endocrine therapy and CDK4-6 inhibition, uh, in this particular case, I would recommend using fulvestrant with a CDK4-6 inhibitor. And this particular patient did start on fulvestrant with abemacyclib. In general, when a patient recurs with metastatic disease, I think it's very important to obtain a biopsy at the time of recurrence. One reason is to be able to recheck receptor status. We do know that about 10 to 15% of patients will change receptors. So those patients perhaps who start out with a hormone receptor positive disease, about 10 to 12% of those patients will lose their hormone receptor. Um, and so it is important to recheck because certainly that is critical when making treatment decisions to know if this patient still has ER and or PR on the surface of their cancer cells. However, I think as our treatments are improving, we are learning that it may also be important to personalize therapy. So having a better understanding of the genomic alterations that may be driving that cancer may help you decide which treatment regimens to use. So particularly in patients who have metastatic hormone receptor positive disease, we have now learned that patients who have a PIK3CA mutation will benefit from a very specific uh, PI3 kinase inhibitor called alpalisib uh, when given in combination with fulvestrant. So knowing if a patient has a PIK3CA mutation will influence treatment decisions. We're also learning that patients who have ESR1 mutations may not be sensitive to aromatase inhibition, and so better understanding if this patient has an ESR1 mutation may also influence treatment decisions. So again, I think at the time of recurrence, it is important to obtain that biopsy not only to recheck receptors, but also to be able to obtain genomic information.